Hello and welcome to Beyond Category. I'm Eric Felton. Singer and guitarist Chris Thomas King is a modern master of the blues. He's going to be with his trio tonight at Blues Alley Jazz Supper Club here in Washington, D.C. But we get to go and check him out right now.
Chris Thomas King, you come by being a blues musician. Honestly, you've uh, got, got got the bug when you were when you were a kid. How did that happen? Well, it was kind of thrust upon me, really. Uh, I was fascinated with with instruments and with music at a very young age. My uncle, uh, who's a trumpet player, and uh, he was in the service, and he brought me home a little cornet trumpet, and I started on the cornet trumpet. So. Uh, my early earliest uh, memories of being introduced to music, I was going to be another King Oliver or Louis Armstrong or some trumpet player playing the blues that way uh, in a long tradition of Louisiana folks. But the guitar became uh, was becoming very dominant in music, and it, and it caught my fancy. So then I started gravitating to the guitar. It was the loudest instrument. Your dad was blues musician and yeah. uh, owned a blues club. How was that as a kid being immersed not only in listening to music, but really listening to music live? Yeah, well, we, uh, my dad opened, uh, uh, his name is Tabby Thomas. He opened up uh, a place called Tabby's Blues Box in 1979 down in Louisiana. And, uh, and I was a young teen at the time, and it was a family store, so to speak, or a family business. So whether I wanted to go there and play the blues or be a part of that scene or not, it's something that I had to do. When I look back on it now, I wouldn't trade it for anything because I got a chance to interact with a lot of the um, older musicians who are not around anymore. But um, some of what they had in them, you know, that thing that they carry, uh, kind of like an apprenticeship, you know, or something. If you're not, you can read about it in a book. You can study it in a classroom, but it's nothing like, um, you know, getting with an old artist or musician and, and, and hoping some of that wisdom and some of that talent just kind of falls off on you, you know? So. Now, you really are part of this blues tradition, yeah. and at the same time, um, you talk about what you're doing as being 21st century blues and, and trying to move the tradition forward while still honoring it. How, what's your conception of sort of how blues moves forward at this point? It moves forward by, by looking back. It began in Louisiana in the late 1800s, and I think people have forgotten um, the, what this music is, what it means. It's really part of music. But people have forgotten um, that. They think that the music has something to do with being depressed or work songs. Or, now, who the hell comes to a club on a Saturday night and say, hey, hey, man, play that song I hear at work all the time. I want to be reminded of my boss, you know? That never happens, I can assure you. Um, so the blues has nothing to do with that kind of thing. It's, a, it's Saturday night music. And I think people have lost that. So I think it has to kind of go back, you know, to and people need to understand what it's really about, and then kind of we can move it forward from there. Well, let's move it forward right here. What else can you play for us next? Uh, the next song we have in store for you guys is um, Baptized in Dirty Water, which is from an album I recorded a few years back. The album is titled Rise, and uh, I wrote Baptized in Dirty Water after uh, losing my home in the, in the Great Flood in Katrina and seeing all my neighbors and everybody uh, suffer through that. And, you know, when you get knocked down, there's nothing to do but get up and go another round. So uh, that's what Baptized in Dirty Water is all about. All right. Chris Thomas King.
love is broke now, baby. They didn't wanna come rushing in. When the love is broke now, baby. Daddy wanna, daddy wanna come rushing in.
as I went down in the river to pray, studying about that good old way in who shall wear a robe and gown. Oh, Lord, show me the way. Oh, sinners, let's go down. Let's go down. Come on down. Oh, sinners, let's go down. Down in the river to pray. In a constant sorrow all through my day. I am a man in a constant sorrow. I've seen trouble all my day. Be in fairway, in Louisiana, the place where I was born and raised. The place where I was born and raised. Oh, six long years I've been in trouble. No precious help on earth I found. Oh, well, in this world. Girl, I'm bound to ramble. I have no friends to help me now. I need some friends to help me now. Help me out now. It's very well, my old true lover. Chris Thomas King. Wow, it's great hearing you do that acoustic guitar picking. And, uh, and I think people will recognize that song, of course, from the movie Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, which mm-hmm. you not only contributed music to, but you were featured in the movie as the guitarist Tommy Johnson. How has that affected your career? It totally altered my, uh, my uh, sense of who I, who I am in, in my music and everything because I was known mostly as an electric guitar player before I did the movie. And before I did the movie, I, I used to wear the dread, long dreadlocks and, you know, I had a whole different kind of thing going. But after the film, um, I cut my dreads for the film. 
But after the film, I became this acoustic guitar player that everybody, uh, you know, recognized. So, but now it has become such a part of who I am. It was a, it was a small part. I mean, I always played acoustic guitar, but it wasn't like the dominant theme in my, in my uh, live performances. That tune has, you know, country feel to it, you might say, but yeah. it's still the blues, and really blues is at that intersection of all American music, whether it's jazz, whether it's rock, whether it's hip hop, whether yeah. it's country, it sort of really just finds that sweet spot that <laughs> shares in what's good about all of it. A country music and a lot of what people call Delta blues, it's got this, uh, this uh, old Irish kind of folk song kind of thing mixed in with what we did in, 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 in New Orleans years and years ago. So, because we're not a lyric, we don't want to worry about the lyrics so much, it's more about people dancing, you know, doom, doom. you know, it's more, it's more rocking and having a good time. And we can take any nursery rhyme or gospel song or, or anything and do that blues thing to it, you know, give it that parade kind of feel, you know. But country music uh, is the music that I listen to probably more so than any other music mm -hmm. because it's the only genre now where people, are, that's only popular genre where people really play instruments. I can hear a banjo. A banjo comes from Africa. It's an African instrument. It was a huge part of uh, early Louisiana music. So when I hear people playing banjos, I, I totally relate. I play a little banjo. Well, you play a little banjo, you play guitar, and I understand that you also play some barrel house piano as well. <laughs> and uh, maybe we can get you to play something at the piano for us. I sure would like to do that. Great. Well, I'd love to. I'd love to sit in and, and, you're gonna, and play you're, with you. You're going to play some trombone with I, us. I think I'll get the horn out. What do you All say? Right, let's make that happen. All right, Chris Thomas King.
I'd like to thank Blues Alley Jazz Supper Club for hosting us, and I'd like to thank you for joining us. My name's Eric Felton, and I hope you'll join me again soon for more good music on Beyond Category.